In this video, we'll talk about cul-de-sacs. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Shiner from Zula Driving School, and let's get right into talking about cul-de-sacs. All right, cul-de-sacs. So you find cul-de-sacs usually at the end of residential areas um, where there's usually driveways off of them, like so. So if you're coming in to a cul-de-sac and you want to turn your vehicle around, you would perform a maneuver like this. You would kind of get into this traffic or cul-de-sac, go around it, and head back in the direction you came from. Now, you do not need to signal in a cul-de-sac unless you're going into one of these driveways. Because for our purpose, in theory, it's just a, a continuous road with a sharp turn in it. So no signaling. However, before you get into the cul-de-sac, so right about here, you need to shoulder check to the right so, so as to check to see if there's any cyclists beside you that you're not aware of, that if you were to get into the cul-de-sac, you would cut them off. So shoulder check at this point. And also when you're about here, you shouldn't be looking out your front windshield. You should be looking at your left window here, right beside you. So if you're sitting here, you should be looking out this way and turning the steering wheel all the way to the left. Because if you're looking out this front window, you're gonna be seeing this. And it's often the case that you go around the circle and another car shows up and let's say this person lives here and they're just used to not going around the circle. They're just gonna go into their driveway like this. So if you go around this cul-de-sac and not look out this window, you will only see the collision as it's happening over here. So we wanna avoid that obviously. And that's pretty much it. So no signal, shoulder check before you get in check to your right and when you're halfway into the circle you want to look out your left side window here and obviously you want to kind of get into the circle you don't want to kind of go out and straight into it and then try to turn here because uh, you might uh, run into a problem trying to clear this corner here so kind of get into the cul-de-sac and uh, go around the cul-de-sac. You don't have to hug the side, but just enough so that you can uh, comfortably go around it and make your turn without having to back up. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you liked it, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our channel on YouTube. And we also offer an online video training course where we show you real footage of us going around cul-de-sacs and lots of other scenarios and gives you a better idea of what to look out for. Now it's one thing for me to draw this on a whiteboard, it's another for you to go out there and practice this with your co-ed driver or your driving instructor. I hope to see you in a video soon.